Hello, hello, Mr. Walber here, section 3.2, adding and subtracting linear expressions. Uh, linear expressions give kind of fancy term. Uh, as it states here, linear expression is an expression in which the exponent of the variable is 1. Uh, you look right here, this would be 2x to the first power, um, 3x plus 2. Well, again, 3x would be to the first power there, so um, these are all considered linear expressions. I, I, I put... Um, um, that that should have been uh, 3x squared. Uh, my apologies. It would have been like this, 3x squared. That's not linear because um, the exponent here is uh, a 2 instead of a 1. It's got to be uh, just to the first power to make it a linear expression. Uh, reminder with this, as we've been doing in class, you can only add or subtract like terms. Uh, 2y plus 3y is okay, but 2y plus 3 I cannot do anything with. They've got to be like terms. Just a quick reminder with that. We've been doing these in class. Just uh, a little more practice. This is a, a sum. Uh, I've got x minus 2 uh, plus the quantity of 3x plus 8. I'm going to underline my like terms. There's my x's, and uh, I'm going to circle my other like term. Uh, x plus, because there's a plus right here, 3x would get me 4x. I've got a subtraction of 2 adding 8. So I'm taking 2 away, and then adding 8 back would get me a positive 6. So 4x plus 6. Uh, like term here, like term here, here, and here. So I'm taking a negative 4y, and I'm going to add it to 11y. So negative 4y plus 11y gets me a 7y. Uh, positive 3 subtract 5 would get me minus 2. So this is uh, how we add linear expressions. All right, getting a little more complicated here. Uh, we saw in the first section and uh, a little bit of what we've been doing in class, uh, the distributive property. This quantity of 2 has to be distributed into what's inside the parentheses. Um, 2 is being multiplied by both things, so we have to, uh, what, what it's called, distribute. 2 times a negative 7.5. A positive times a negative is a negative, so a negative 15, because 2 times 7.5 is 15, and that is z, because um, I have multiplied 2 times this, this uh, negative 7.5z. I'm then going to multiply the 2 times the 3 and get plus 6. I go ahead and I bring everything else down. 5z minus 2. Now I go ahead and I combine my like terms. I've got a like term and a like term, like term and a like term. Well, negative 15, I'm going to now add 5z. That's going to get me a negative 10z. And then uh, I have a positive 6, taking 2 away gets me a positive 4. All right, let's subtract some linear expressions. Um, 5x minus x, uh, 6, and 6. So those are my common, excuse me, uh, like terms. Uh, I'm going to take 5x, and I'm going to subtract... A negative x. Now, remember what we did with uh, adding, subtracting integers. Whenever I subtract a negative, that is the same thing as adding. So it would become 5x plus x, and I would just get 6x. Back up top, let me get rid of some of this mess here. 6 minus 6. Now you're going to say, well, it's a positive. Yes, it's a positive 6, but we have to keep in mind this subtraction sign tells us what we're doing. So 6 minus 6 gets me 0. My grand answer is just 6x. Over on the left, or on, the, on B here, excuse me, um, before I can do anything with this, I am going to, again, like we did on the previous slide, we've got to distribute. We've got to take this 2 and distribute it into um, the parentheses. This where it gets a little weird. We have to keep in mind we have a subtraction sign there. So when I go ahead and I distribute, I'm going to take 2, negative 2, excuse me, times the 4y, 
and I'm going to get a negative 8y. I'm going to take the minus 2 there and distribute it into the minus 3, and I'm going to get a positive 6 because a negative, in this case here, times a negative is going to give me a positive. I go ahead and I bring the 7y plus the 5 down. My like terms are 7y minus 8y. I'm going to get a minus 1y, or just call that minus y. Plus 5 plus 6 gets me plus 11. And again, you're more than welcome to just write negative y plus 11. Uh, some of this might have been kind of reviewing of, of combining like terms, but again, you need to start seeing some other things here, how to deal with negatives and how to distribute. So hope you uh, follow along, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.